this is a group of friends in British Columbia, Canada. But they are not any type of friends. They are an extraordinary set of friends. The first actual video they filmed was titled Expectations vs. Reality at their middle school in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. Tommy Mitchell and Stephen worked with companies at such a young age. They were able to accomplish this by their transitions. If we slow down the video and look at it frame by frame, you can see they mask out their videos. When they do a lens swipe in a transition, this will give the viewer the feeling that they are being traveled with the flow and edit pacing of the video. Huh? We're leaving today. Hurry up. What, what's going on over there? Have you passed oh, that? shoot! In their video headed west, all of their footage goes with the flow of the music and sound design. In this diagram, I stitched together the first two minutes of their video of headed west. The movement transitions are clean and sleek to the naked eye. Since this is filmed in first perspective, it's wanting us to know what will happen next, as with the edit pacing coming together at a brief start. Gets me every time. That's scary. This is the first time I've seen it, and that is ridiculous. The team as crew uses the GoPro to get a wide field of view of landscapes to give the viewer a perspective where they are in the exact moment. They use also a black magic pocket cinema camera that they will use to give a view that we had never ever seen before, such as in a probe lens TMS video. Good. That's a big dilation. The drone give us a view of where we are but on a much larger scale with the horizon line. Up the reason we got another drone, we also have the Mavic Air and the Phantom, is because this guy shoots 10-bit color. It's a lot more colors and a lot more vibrant. The low light on it is also fantastic. And the last thing is that it has a variable aperture, so we can focus on the foreground or the background and we get the parallax effect in front. I'm grabbing all these opportunities. Work cards don't play, won't slip away from me. If you select the videos tab on the TMS YouTube channel, you can see the thumbnails are consistent and an object is in focus separated from the background. The letters you see in their thumbnails seem to be named Alamari. This font with the combination of yellow and white gives the eye an eye-catching view, giving you a small hint before you actually click on it. The color palette in most of their thumbnails between I created this entire video with my left hand and our full cinema 4K gimbal setup Overall, the thumbnails have more of a teal and black after pixelating them, as you can see. These main colors in the color palette let the viewer who watched Team S to recognize it easily without having to use a single brain cell. While for new viewers, this gives an outreach of clarity for them to recognize after the hook. Which brings you into their music selection.
The music selection of TMS are often from Epidemic Sound or Music Band. They generally choose soft, upbeat music to bring an introduction to a scene, or an intense, upbeat country genre to give us as their viewer the sole purpose to be hooked to watching the video to see what will happen next with the cinematic scene. Besides the amazing cinematography, TMS underratedly is known for their energetic personality and making us feel like family. Without their personality, their videos wouldn't be able to be what it is today, and it would just look like a cinema montage with just sequences. Their inspiration is from the well-known filmmaker Sam Calder, and now inspiring others like me. Yeah. Anyways, this is actually the end of TMS Productions. We only considered this like a 52 week experiment, so now that we've completed it, we're kind of we're kind of done. We're shutting down everything. After this video goes live, we are shutting down the YouTube channel and the Instagram. And that's that's about it. You guys can follow us on our personal Instagrams, but other than that, there's nothing else that we're gonna. So thank you guys so much for supporting us. We won't see you next week or ever, but it's been fun. Okay, bye. <laughs> No, no, I'm just kidding. We got you. No, we're just kidding, guys. We're not gone. We're just going to take a little break, but we'll... One day and top the charts beating out Old Town Road. What? Really? Nope. I uh, read that wrong. It actually got 92 listens and was complete garbage. <laughs> it was easy between Peter's love for coffee and exaggerated actions. There was so much content to spoof. What? <laughs> The lens is fine. Oh my god. Oh wait, it's probably the, just the UV filter it's, it's in It's just the lens, yeah. The GoPro yes, it's fine. it! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, screen, you righted it right before it smashed yeah, into the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Power yeah. loop! <laughs> <laughs> if you hadn't known me, I'm Regan from Regan V Films Tech on this channel. This channel right here. So, if you hadn't recognized it, the most of this video edit was stylized off of their video made in 2017 when it analyzed Sam Calder. So I just thought, why not just do it on TMS? Because nobody had ever done that. So I just did. So you can share this video out loud and also to the TMS crew if they hadn't seen it yet. Just just do it. And on this channel, if you're just wondering what's what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try and, con well, I'm going to continue along. With filmmaking I had ever since the start of elementary so basically just continue on I'm just gonna continue on too if you want to go ahead and join me in my journey of filmmaking and technology just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video just like what I say shaka and mahalo I got myself into a little situation Can't seem to get away 